Hello and welcome to Cooking with Julie. I'm Julie and today we're making chocolate coated strawberries. Perfect for enjoying at home over a glass of wine and perhaps an old movie. Maybe Casablanca? This is the start of a beautiful friendship, says the strawberry to the chocolate. Isn't that just the best line? To begin the romance, you'll need some lovely ripe strawberries. Don't these look perfect? And some delicious melted chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate because in real life, off the silver screen, that's the colour of people's souls. <laughs> You've got sad Julie today. Must be the wine. Being a single parent isn't the most fun in the world, but who sees that coming on their wedding day? Well, make sure the consistency of the chocolate is nice and runny, the way your knees feel when you find lipstick on your husband's slim fit shirt. Like that. Now simply dip the strawberries into the chocolate, set them aside. Just like my husband dipped his strawberry into my ex-best friend and set me aside. Now, let's put them in the fridge after a painful custody battle to get hardened and bitter and never talk to them again. Delicious. Well, thanks for cooking with Julie. Tune in next week. Unless your name is Sean or Katrina, in which case you can just fuck off. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Julie. I'm Julie and today we're making something that's perfect for a first date, banana cake. Let's see if we can impress that special someone. Now, I've got all the ingredients ready to go. Flour. Now, make sure you get a good brand because it acts as your recipe's foundation, like the school your date went to. If he's been to Knox Grammar, at least you know he can use a knife and fork. Eggs. Now, these are the building blocks of the recipe, like your date's tertiary education community college, university, or full-time postgraduate studies in law while managing his father's successful yacht business. It's all good. <laughs> Bananas. Now, this is what makes the recipe who it is. Handsome, enjoys coffee and sunny days, great e-harmony picture, the whole package. package. <laughs> and finally, the milk, which ensures a delicious cake of trust, loyalty, mini breaks on the coast, and lots of shared laughs. This is going to be a good night. This is going to be a good cake. Sorry, Andy Allen from MasterChef. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Cooking with Julie. I'm Julie and today we have Andy Allen from MasterChef. I'll try that again. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Cooking with Julie. I'm Julie and this is Andy Allen from MasterChef. Hi, Andy. Thanks for having me, Julie. Oh, it's, it's lovely to have you here. You're lo it's lovely to have you here. Um, did you get the shirt from, did Wardrobe get you that shirt? Uh, I just bought this one from home. Oh, it's very nice. You look very nice in it. <laughs> Thank you. What are we cooking today? Pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup? P pumpkin soup. Uh, yes, Andy Allen from MasterChef and Andy. Today we're cooking pumpkin soup. With a dollop of sour cream and a sprinkling of chives, I reckon a good pumpkin soup is pretty hard to beat. Well, I'll I'll finish making the stock. I think you're going to be pretty impressed with my recipe. I'm sure I will. I'll finish pureeing the pumpkin. There, that looks lovely. Um, why don't you bring your stock over that you've had on a low heat? <laughs> low um, heat. <laughs> Not with you around. <laughs> Because you're very, very, 
very good looking. <clears throat> Julie, this looks great. I'll just add some cumin to the mix and we're done. Come in. Sorry? It's pronounced come in. Like, knock knock, who's there? The best pumpkin soup spice ever. Well then, come in. It's pronounced come in. Righto. Winning TV competitions is all very well, but at the end of the day, you can't beat experience and talent. Righto. Well, this is bringing back memories. I was making this very soup the night the cops called to say my 11 year old was hanging out at the McDonald's car park at one in the morning. I needed a nice cup of soup after that and a lot of scotch. What about you, Andy? Uh, sorry? Does this bring back any memories? Just of eating pumpkin soup with my family. Okay, well, <laughs> some people get through life on sunshine and rainbows. Hang human. It's come in. It's Andy Allen, everyone. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Cooking with Julie. I'm Julie and today we're going to be making what was one of my mother's favourite recipes, a souffle. Let's just hope I get it right. First step, an egg. I'm just going to crack it into the bowl. You know, I really feel like my mother's watching me right now. Her eye is just boring to the back of my skull. Cooking really does bring back those childhood memories, doesn't it? Next step, some flour. Just going to measure it out into the bowl here. Careful. Don't spill any. You don't want to end up locked in the cupboard. Oh, we laugh about that now. Over her grave. Now, they say there's no use crying over spilt milk. And anyway, mother would just tell you to stop being a baby and to keep licking it up off the floor with your tongue. Oh, she was hilarious. Had me in stitches. Doctor certainly knew my name. Right, now to put it into a souffle dish and into the oven, or as I like to say, time to put it to bed with a pillow over its face. <sighs> That's better. Well, thanks for cooking with Julie and shut up, mother. Thanks for making a mediocre souffle with the village idiot, Julie. Tune in next time. You're not the boss of me. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Julie. I'm Julie, and today we're going to make something that'll make you an instant hit at your child's school fate. Toffee. In these saucy little patty pans with hundreds and thousands on top, your child will love you. First step, sugar. It's funny, isn't it? They start off so small and defenceless, and before you know it, they're sneaking cash out of your wallet and lying about what time they're coming home. Oh, what would we do without them? other than sleep at night. Next step, water. It's not a very complicated undertaking. You take two things that don't have much in common and create something else that'll stick your teeth together and make you overweight. And that's what we call family. Now, put it on a low heat and slowly stir to dissolve. Just like your hopes and dreams when you realize you're pregnant and bloody Matt Moran gets the gig instead. This is going to taste scrumptious. Well, all that's left to do is to pour it out into the patty pans and set aside to cool. Don't forget the hundreds and thousands. If you turn up at the school fete wearing beige and carrying a tray of these, the other mums will think you're just like them. And it's always nice to fit in, isn't it?
Hello and welcome to Cooking with Julie. I'm Julie and today... You've been axed. It's over, Jules. Sure. Absolutely. Okay, let's get this done by three and then head to the pub for wrap out drinks. And today we're making stuffed potatoes. Perfect campfire food or when perhaps you're renovating and things are a little bit of a mess. First of all, I'll need some sour cream and an onion and some potatoes. <laughs> 